In this video, we're going to talk about the real fundamental number two, and that's going to be club face control. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming to you here from the Scott Hogan Golf Performance Center here in Joliet. We are going to talk about how do you control the club face so that you can start hitting the shape shot that you want and be able to put the ball on target as you're looking for it. So when we start talking about most golfers, most golfers are slicers, all right? It's a vast majority of the golfing population slices the golf ball. So if this is one that uh, is something you struggle with, then this hopefully will help you start understanding why you do that. So when we go through, the first thing we want to start understanding as we go to hit a golf ball is the club face control start direction. So we don't have our ball flight on today for a reason because what we want to start focusing on is just where does the ball start, okay? When I hit this shot for the first you know, yard or two, where is it going to hit this screen and where is it impacting? So high-level players, they're always looking to maintain and manage the club face to get it to start into a window. Players that are struggling a little bit more with just overall contact and control, they want to just get the, the golf ball to start shaping in a certain direction. So if we're going to do that, we need to start having the piece that first controls that, which is the club face, okay? So when I go to do this, all right, there's a couple of piece, uh, things that we want to know. One, when we swing a golf club, we do not swing it straight back, straight through, nor do we keep the club face square all the way through to our target line. We're not swinging it straight down the target line and swinging it straight through the target line. If you do that, you will slice the golf ball, all right, if you hit it in the center, if you're lucky enough to hit the ball on the club face. So what we want to start seeing is, as I make a golf swing, and I'm just going to make some half swings, as I go, I need to let this club start to work with a little bit of rotation, a little bit of rotation, okay? Why is this important? Because it's going to start letting us me feel how my arms work, how I manipulate this golf club to come on through. I have seen some people, they've tried to keep the golf club extremely shut. They try to get the club shut and they just let it stay there. Now, when I see that, one thing that always makes me a little worried about that type of maneuver is to do that, the body then has to get into some positions I wouldn't say are safe for the long term. But when we start going, I think it's a little bit easier to play this game from a little bit more athletic feeling where we start letting this club face rotate over. Okay, So if I started with it straight ahead at the camera and I brought it back, you're going to see it's kind of going to open up a little and it's going to go through a little closed. All right, That's what we're going to start seeing this club do. Okay, Now, one of my favorite ways to start training this is I actually like to hit shots. Okay, And again, we're not going to pay attention to the overall direction. Okay, I just want to see where this ball starts. So I'm going to make a swing and I'm going to let my hands rotate the club. I'm going to try to rotate it just a little bit more than I, I think I would need as I go through. Okay, and you can see that ball hit low left on the screen. Okay, now I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to let them stay open just a little bit. So I'm not going to rotate them as much as we thought. And we can see that ball started off towards the right direction. Okay, now I'm going to try to go in between them. Instead of holding them open or letting them shut, I'm going to just try to get right in between those two. We can see that ball starts a little bit straighter down my target line. You can see it's not a very big swing. We're not worried too much about distance, anything like that. We're just trying to start seeing what the start direction will be. So why is this important in an overall shot? Well, when we start trying to get the ball to go you know, straight, as we say, or you're trying to hit a draw or trying to hit a fade, starting to get a feel for where the club face is and how you make it an impact be in a closed orientation open orientation or square orientation, that's going to be the number one thing that determines whether A, you get the curve that you desire, or two, if you can actually, if let's say you're drawing the ball, 
But are you making? Are you hitting a draw that's actually going to work when you play golf? Are you hitting it and it's going out to a target? So you want to start getting a feel for what the club face is doing. This is something that I know the best players in the world work on a lot. All right, it's something that they can have some variance in as well. So they need to work on it too. So as we go as players, when we start making our swings, you know, doing whatever you want to do back here with the body, anything. Always remember when it comes to the fundamentals, one of the biggest ones that you're trying to make sure happens is are you getting the club face where you want it to be at impact? All right. And if you are seeing that you're struggling with some start direction, there you go. Start looking at what the club face is doing. It's great for when you're trying to punch out of trees, which hopefully you're not in, or if you have uh, tight windows that you need to go through, or even if you have trouble on one side, you can start uh, making sure you keep the ball away from trouble. So getting a grasp on, again, when we swing the golf club, we don't keep the club face straight back, straight through. There is some rotation we're allowed to have as we go. And that's what allows us to be accurate, hit some distance, and keep the ball in play, which is one of the most important things to shooting lower scores. Thanks everybody for watching this video. If you like what you see, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. We are looking for swings that for people that want to be reviewed online. Go ahead and you'll see how to submit those swings down below as well. Uh, we'd love to have you send them in. And keep on watching and look for those videos in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.